Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today we are working on improving our lasering on glass on this mason jar today. Uh, we're trying a couple different ways and find one we really like. Uh, if you like the video, give us a subscribe. It really helps us out. All right, guys, here we are in light burn. So we are going to etch this mason jar I've got sprayed with cold and galvanizing compound because we actually want it to be black instead of the normal just frosted etched look in glass uh, first things first uh, I've got our machine uh, turned on but I actually opened up light burn first so we need to come in here and find my uh, device so we're gonna do find my laser next finds it yep it does so we add device pick where you want your homing hit finish and okay so now we can come in here it's actually on comp 3 I just know that because that's where my USB is plugged in so we are doing the rotary so we want to come into machine settings you see everything here soft limits everything's on this is not what we want this is my default settings so what I want to do is that I've actually saved rotary settings and now I can open those up it just changes homing cycles and soft limits so that it doesn't cause problems when it's running so we will write that it's been written successfully and we can go ok so now we've got our settings the way we want it for the rotary Now we can pull up the rotary. We are on a roller. We are going to enable the rotary uh, Y axis. So we've got all these where we want them circumference and diameter. We need to change. I measured the diameter of the mason jar and it is 77.45 millimeters. So that is exactly what we want and we can hit OK. Now we just need to get our design in there. Alright guys, here is the design uh, I've got going that I'm going to put on this mason jar. Um, but we've got a few things we need to do to it first. So I do want it filled. Air assist will be on. And I do not want it to go quite this fast. We're going to do about 1500. 60% uh, is actually perfect. And lines per inch. Good, I like that. I like it. Higher lines per inch. We will hit OK. So we also need to turn this 90 degrees because it will be cutting sideways. We're actually going to go 90 negative so that it is this way. And then the last thing we need to do before taking it out to the machine is that we're actually going to mirror it horizontally, vertically. Right? Because rotary does everything backwards so this is exactly how we want it to be done we can come in here we can preview it we can hit play so this will cut it with only rotating once we'll have to go outside i do not have a light burn camera yet so we'll have to go out and make sure that it fits how i want it to fit so we'll adjust it uh, once we're out at the machine but everything else looks good. So we can hit OK there. I'm going to go ahead and save this. Mason jar. So we've got it saved right where we want it there. And let's go out to the machine. All right, here's the reason that we stopped using the laser for a little bit and uh, ordered the grounding kit and just grounded it ourselves is it was stopping about 40% into a cut. So uh, there's that. The um, cold galvanizing compound is what we used on the jar first and it was hard to clean off. So we went on to something else.
We tried the wet blue shop towel. Didn't have much luck with that either. So our last go on the mason jar was with uh, the dry molly lube and it worked the best. we
right, so here's the finished product. Uh, this, we use the dry molly lube, and so far it's really our favorite. Uh, the finish is smooth, the acrylic paint left some streaks, and uh, the dry molly lube just washes off so much better. Uh, we ran this at 1,600, 70%. The lid didn't work out as well as we had hoped. Uh, it did mark it, it's just not very noticeable unless it's turned the right way. All right, guys, thanks for watching to the end of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, we've got some more projects coming your way. And if there's anything you want to see, add it in the comments below. We'll see you next time.